This series of darts tactics videos is aimed at beginner through intermediate level dart players who already know the basics of the game and want to learn how to improve their chances of winning through correct shot selection. In an 01 game such as 501, everyone's strategy is going to be basically the same. Hit big numbers to bring your score down to an outshot in as few darts as possible and then take it out by finishing on a double. Tactics are the individual actions taken in pursuit of the strategy and that basically boils down to deciding what to throw each dart at. In this video we are going to talk about getting to an outshot. What I mean by outshot is any number that can be finished with three or fewer darts. So let's plunge straight in with an example. Let's suppose your score sits on 229. Your first two darts each hit single 20. Where should you aim your third dart? After the first two darts, your score is on 189 points. So the answer is definitely not at the 20. Sure, you could get lucky and hit the treble 20 to leave your score on 129, which is an outshot. However, you are much more likely to hit another single 20, bringing your score down to 169. And that cannot be finished with three darts. 170 is the highest possible three dart outshot, but the second highest is 167. You cannot finish 169 or 168 with three darts. So by landing on one of these bogey numbers, you've guaranteed you cannot win the game on your next throw. The correct tactic is to switch to 19. Aim at the area shown here. A single 19 leaves 170. A treble 19 leaves 132. Either way, you're on an outshot. You might be thinking, OK, but I stand next to no chance of ever taking 170 out with three darts. Well, you're probably right. Your chance of taking out a high finish such as 170 is probably very slim. But your chance of finishing 169 is zero. And I'll take slim over zero any day. So my point is, give yourself a chance, even if it's only an outside chance. The other bogey numbers to be avoided are 166, 165, 163, 162 and 159. From 158 down to an including 2, you're safe because every number in that range is an outshot. Although some numbers are better than others and I'll be discussing that in a later video in this series. If you have a dartboard at home, it probably came with a standard outshot showing possible finishes for all outshots. The top two numbers can only be finished with the combination shown. 170 has to be treble 20, treble 20, double bull. And 167 has to be treble 20, treble 19 in any order, followed by double bull. Every other number has more than one way to finish it. Standard out charts usually just show one combination, but depending on your personal preferences, the combination shown might not suit your style. So it's worth thinking about all the options. For example, 164 on the standard chart is treble 20, treble 18, double bull. But another option is treble 19, treble 19, double bull. If you choose the first option and hit treble 20 with your first dart, you must then move your focus across to the treble 18. Some people find that if their first dart hits what they want, it's easier to follow it than to switch to another target. Others would argue that the first dart reduces the available area of the treble segment, and therefore it is better to throw at an empty segment with a second dart. You'll need to make up your own mind as to which approach fits your style best, but the point I want to make here is that you should not just blindly trust the out chart. Think through the options and find what suits you best. If you watch the professionals throw, it becomes apparent they are thinking about out shots, even with the score in 300s. For example, with the score on 303, they will throw 19 rather than 20. Why do they do this? Well, suppose they throw at 20 and the first dart hits a treble, but the second dart hits a single. 
a common enough occurrence even for a pro. 80 points scored, 223 remaining. But now there's no way to reduce 223 to an outshot with the third dart. Treble 20 would leave 163, which is a bogey number. Treble 19 leaves 166, and treble 18 leaves 169. More bogey numbers. If, however, they throw at 19 and hit a treble and a single, this time they've scored 76, leaving 227 points, and a treble 19 will reduce that to 170. That's how the professionals think, but even we mere mortals should be thinking about an outshot by the time the score reaches the mid to low 200s. I suggest trying to do the arithmetic while your opponent is taking their shot. Before you step up to take your shot, know what your most likely options are. Whether you hit the treble you're aiming at, or the single, know in advance what your next shot should be. Do everything you can to avoid the bogey numbers. Let's finish with an exercise to see if you're getting the hang of it. Once again, your score is on 229. But this time, your first dart hits treble 5. What should you do? Well, you've scored 15, so you've got 214 points remaining. Two single 20s would only get you down to 174, and that's not a finish. You could continue throwing at the treble 20 and hope for the best. Or you might consider throwing your second dart at the bullseye. The surface area of the combined inner and outer bull is slightly more than three times the area of a treble segment, so you have three times the chance of hitting it. A single bull leaves you on 189, so switch to 19s. A single 19 gets you to an outshot. If you hit a double bull, you're on 164. So with your third dart, all you need to do is avoid hitting 1, 2 or 5, and you are guaranteed to be on an outshot. So, don't throw at 20, it's surrounded by 1 and 5, throw instead at the 19. In fact, hitting anything in the bottom left area of the board will leave you on an outshot. Let's recap what we've covered in this lesson. Your aim is to get to an outshot as quickly as possible. As you get within striking distance of an outshot, you need to be weighing your options and playing shots that give you the best chance of avoiding the bogey numbers and landing on an outshot. Know what your options are, plan in advance, and have a backup plan in case you don't hit what you're aiming at with your first or second dart. The bull is your friend. It's three times the area of a treble, and so, regardless of your skill level, you're three times more likely to hit it than to hit any particular treble. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider clicking the like button. I welcome comments, so please let me know your thoughts. I try to keep my videos 10 minutes or less, so please check out my other videos in this series for further instruction. A link to the next lesson is provided at the end of this video. Shoot well.